Hello there and welcome to day three of the Frankfurt Book Fair where we really are hitting the business end of this year's show. Now before the final deals were being clinched today and the raucous parties got into full swing, today I've been asking some of the main trailblazers of the industry to share with me some of their favourite books of the last 12 months. It's always the book I'm reading at the moment and at this point of time it's a, a book by Priscilla Norsa, Louis Refato. Um, I don't know the English title, <laughs> okay, yeah. so, uh, but he describes what's happening in Brazil at the moment and there's a lot of fighting going on between upper class, uh, but uh, corrupt politicians, so it's very, very interesting. I would say that it was The Sun by Philip Meyer, which is a uh, saga, I guess you'd say, of the American West and of, some, of an oil family in Texas that is incredibly beautifully written and gives a portrait of early America that probably hasn't been done as well since Lonesome Dove. What's your favorite book from the last 12 months that you haven't actually published? That I haven't actually published? Probably the book I read flying from Vancouver to Frankfurt, which is a long flight, by Johannes Jonasson, the Swedish book, The 100-Year-Old Man Who Stepped Out of the Window and Never Returned. The best book I've read in probably the last uh, two weeks, three weeks, is a book called Tournament. Nobody will know about it, but they will know about it in the future. Two, two very interesting women up in Boston, Massachusetts, decided since they couldn't get their book published by a publisher, which is the hardest thing in the world to do today, they were going to do self-publishing. They put a book tournament, which is for young adults. It takes Hunger Games and puts it into a contemporary thing for the young adult. And it's an absolutely fascinating book. I certainly enjoyed the last book I read, probably the most, I don't know about the last 12 months, but certainly the last six months for sure. Mm -hmm. And it's called Guests on Earth by Lee Smith. I, being at a book fair, I found it. Uh, one is a great book written by a like Soviet classic author, Varlam Shalamov, and it's, it's, it's called uh, the, the Stories of Kolyma, and that's, uh, that describes the routine of Gulag, the Russian, the, the Soviet concentration camps where uh, all the let's say, political opponents and just regular people were sent. I just finished 1Q84 by Haruki Murakami. Mm -hmm. And I, I love this book because all his world is so twisted and so surreal, yet it's very real. Uh, and he's just a great novelist. The letters between the German philosopher Hans Blumenberg and the Jewish-American philosopher Jakob Taubes. And that is the best book on university struggles, intrigues, etc. And one of the most exciting philosophy books I ever read. Well, for me, it has to be Tom Holland's recent translation of Herodotus's Histories, which perfectly captures a text which completely and beautifully uh, underlines the entire concept of history. So for me, that's it. And uh, that's the answer you've probably been waiting for this whole history. But unfortunately, this is the last video from Publishing Perspectives this week. We hope you've enjoyed what we've put together. And from the video team and everyone here in Frankfurt, good night.